welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids in today's lecture we will see equation for center of mass center of area and center of volume outline of this session in this session we will see the equation for center of mass center of area and center of volume so let us start with the equation for center of mass in the previous lecture we have derived the equation for center of gravity so let us revise the equation again here the equation of x bar and y bar has been written it is according to it x bar is equal to integration of x dw divided by integration of dw and y bar is equal to integration of y dw divided by integration of dw now let us move to today's topic we will learn the equation of center of mass in previous lecture we have derived the equation for center of gravity now instead of weight of the object if the mass of object is considered the procedure of finding center of mass means the point where the whole mass is concentrated remains same the same procedure can be adopted to determine the center of mass here we will see one another approach we know that w is equal to mg where w is equal to total weight of the body m that is equal to mass of body and g that is gravitational acceleration now for a small element we can write so for a small element we can write dw that is equal to dm into g where dw that is weight of small element and dm that is equal to mass of small element now let us use this equation of center of gravity here this is the equation of center of gravity which we have derived in the last lecture here instead of dw the value of dm into g has been kept and same way here also it is kept now g will be cancel out from both term because it is the constant so ultimately we will get the equation of x bar for center of mass same way for y bar also we can write for y bar that is equal to integration of y dm upon integration of dm now we will derive the equation for center of area in engineering mechanics we study the plane bodies represented in two dimensional and we deal with the area of object the point where whole area is assumed to be concentrated it is called center of area so these are some area which we generally use in engineering mechanics in this figure some plane bodies of two dimensional are represented this is a lamina which is having irregular area this is the rectangular triangle and circular these all are two dimensional objects and we deal with the area only in all this body we can determine some point where the whole area is assumed to be concentrated it is called center of area we know that mass is equal to volume into density here the density is constant so mass is depending upon area and we know that volume is equal to area into thickness but in all this shape we consider the thickness as uniform so volume is depending upon area so when we have to deal with area in such equation instead of mass we will take area so the equation for center of area can be written as 
सो दिस आर दी इक्वेशन दैट कैन बी यूज फॉर डिटरमाइन सेंटर ऑफ एरिया नाउ लेट अस लर्न द इक्वेशन फॉर सेंटर ऑफ वॉल्यूम सो वी नो दैट मास इज इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम इनटू डेंसिटी सो वी कैन राइट एम इज इक्वल टू रो इनटू वी एंड फॉर द मास ऑफ स्मॉल एलिमेंट वी कैन राइट डी एम दैट इज इक्वल टू रो इनटू डी वी वी नो द इक्वेशन ऑफ center of mass now uh, this is the equation of center of mass instead of this dm we can write this so let us equate the value of dm in this equation so here rho is constant so it can be cancelled from numerator and denominator and we can get the equation of x bar that is equal to integration of x dv divided by integration of dv same way we can write the equation for y bar so we can write the equation of y bar that is equal to integration of y dv divided by integration of dv so this formulas we can use to determine the center of volume center of mass and center of area thanks for watching this video If you have any doubt or query please write in the comment box i will be there to help you thank you thank you very much